Check this out. This is called the color shifters. It is a series of cars that changes color due to its change in temperature. Isn't that amazing? But did you know that chemical engineers are the ones who made this product possible? Well, the amazing thing is, this is just one of the innovations brought to us through the field of chemical engineering. For decades, chemical engineers have been working to innovate and solve technological problems. Their processes are applied to a diverse range of everyday things that people do and to almost every services and products that we use. Their tasks are to run, create, and design materials that, that impact the life of human lives. At Stanford University, for instance, chemical engineers work to reduce solar energy production cost and to broaden solar application to a flexible cells and devices. One of the projects that involves um, flexible cells and devices is uh, the experimentation of what we call a conjugated polymeric cell, solar cells. So a polymeric solar cell is basically a type of flexible solar cell that is made up of polymers, large, repeating, large molecules with repeating structural units, as seen on the left. This device produces electricity through a process called photovoltaic effect. The team produced this device in hopes to reduce the cost of solar energy and also to bring the potential of, of um, flexible cell modules, semi-transparent semi cells, um, building applications and even even photon recycling through liquid crystal display, which would basically raise the energy output of the solar cell. But besides from dealing with challenges of the energy production, chemical engineers also work to innovate treatment options. Sorry, work to innovate treatment options, achieve better therapeutic outcomes. And even, um, and improve the safety and efficacy of drug delivery mechanisms. For instance, Whaley, an assistant professor at the Department of Chemical Engineering at Texas Tech University, is working on a two-year project in hopes to examine the methods that some cancer cells use to expel chemotherapeutic drugs. Chemotherapeutic drugs are basically drugs that kill dividing cells by destroying its control center. According to Lee, certain subpopulations of cancer cells destroy this type of drug by using an extra cellular compartment called exosomes. However, there are still te technical um, issues when it comes to the molecular analysis of exosomes. Unfortunately, this poses threats to cancer cell treatments. So, through this project, Lee hopes to be able to understand better how cancer cells expel this drug and to ultimately increase the safety and accuracy of drug resistance testing while eliminating the limitations. Okay, those two examples were huge, so let's take a step back. Whenever I mention the term chemical engineering, people tend to cringe and then they associate it with um, energy environment, and all those, I would call sciencey stuff. However, fortunately, chemical engineering applications uh, is applied to a diverse range of things, not just in science. For instance, according to CNN, a trio of uh, fashion designers called The Unseen recently created three sculptural leather jackets that are infused with dye formulas that changes color and response to different stimuli friction, temperature and humidity of the room, and intense heat. As illustrated through this example, we can see the potential
potential that chemical engineering has in bringing forth future apparels that are fashionable, environmentally sustainable, and even affordable. Similarly, when it comes to music, chemical engineers work to design and develop new materials for instruments, such as guitar bodies and drum heads, and even, even sound equipments like um, speakers and amplifiers. To put this into perspective, take for example a violin that was traditionally made from wood. It's now made from a material called quintus that is produced from carbon fiber and epoxy resin composite. This type of material is thin, light, and resistant to temperature change and even damage from impact. So who knows, maybe in 10 years this wouldn't even be possible anymore. Designing and processing objects are cool. However, recently, chemical engineers decided it was too mainstream. Why not start printing them? In 2013, the College of Arts and Engineering of the Notre Dame University developed a 3D printer for ceramic projects. The designers, using computer-aided design as seen on the left, created blueprints that could be divided into digital cross-section. They then used the printer to deposit thin layers of materials, in this case clay, resembling the slices into 3D objects. As said by the team, the project aimed to print small and fine details in ceramics and to build into spaces that are too small to reach by hand, and moreover, to offer a new venue for artists with physical limitations. As the 3D printing technology continues to develop, we see more and more of its application in not just the visual arts, but also in the medical industry, where scientists are now able to precisely print organ cells. <laughs> in order to create these cells, for instance, the organoids, that are heart cells, a team of scientists from Wake Forest School of Medicine first genetically modify human, adult human skin cell into what we call induced pluripotent stem cells. Then these induced stem cells are being re redesigned to create organoids. The spheroids of the organoids are then printed in specialized printers that are assembled at the Institute of Regenerative Medicine at the college. Once again, the aforementioned examples are just some of the innovations that brought to us through the field of chemical engineering. However, as it has clearly illustrated, I hope, Chemical engineering does not only affect scientists, but also artists, musicians, and fashion designers. And we can agree on this one, pretty much everyone else. My point is that chemical engineering allows you the flexibility to choose an interest of your own to explore. So no matter who you are, what you love to do, chemical engineering can always act as a source of new inspiration, assistance, and even, and even possibilities. I am by no means an expert in this field. I am 16 and only a high school senior. But I know for sure that I am beyond excited to step foot into this field and to participate in cutting edge research that I know will affect human life in one way or another. Chemical engineering is what I consider to be one of the most beautiful branches of science. And that is due to its reflection of the human endeavors. Just like the color shifters I've shown in the beginning of the presentation, Chemical engineers are diverse, multifaceted, and flexible when it comes to adapting to their working environment. With this being said, I hope to have given you a future glimpse of the future innovations, and perhaps even inspire you to pursue a field that is so often thought of as intimidating and grueling, but actually isn't. Thank you.